buddy, we're back again now, and this time our learning intention is we're learning to solve double-digit algorithms. So that's um, that's equations like uh, like the one we're going to look at at the moment, 23 times 15. So that's those sorts of questions. So again, our success criteria for solving double-digit algorithms is the same as the single-digit algorithms. So hopefully you've looked at that tutorial first. So the first thing, most, most importantly, is to learn your times tables. And I'll put a link to one of these charts in the description if you want a little bit of um, help or a hand. You need to work in stages, so you have to kind of work as a process. And the most important thing is to keep your numbers in columns. And when I say that, I mean hundreds, tens, and ones. So let's just go back to another quick tutorial around um, our hundreds, tens, and ones here. So if we're looking at the number uh, 23, we are saying that it's uh, two lots of 10 and three ones. And the number 15 is the same as saying one lot of 10 and five ones. So that's, um, that's where we start from. So let's have a look at our algorithm over here. So we've set up the algorithm here that we're going to go 23 times 15. So that's what we're going to start. So 23 times 15. So the number 23 is the same as saying 20 plus 3. Because remember that's back over here from our number chart. 23. And so the number 15 is the same as saying 10 plus 5. So 23 is the same as saying 20 plus 3, and 15 is the same as saying 10 plus 5. Now with a double digit algorithm, basically all the numbers get together and have a party. What you're going to do is you're going to be timesing these two numbers together, and you're going to be timesing those two numbers together. You're going to be timesing uh, this number by that number, and that number by that number. So there's four separate calculations, but all of them involved timesing and then adding it all up together. So here's a breakdown of that. The calculation is going to be 20 times 5, so that's this, this one here, 20 times 5, plus we're going to have 20 times 10, which is this one down here, 20 times 10. We're going to have 3 times 10, and we're also going to have 3 times 5. So that's all the four calculations down here. So 20 times 5, 20 times 10, 3 times 10, and 3 times 5. So we can work all these through individually. 20 times 5, if you get your fingers and toes out, that's 100. I'm going to keep it all in columns. Um, 20 times 10, so remembering that whenever timesing any number by, by 10, you just add on another 0, so that will become 2 100, and 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 5 is 15. So it's really important you know your times tables. Then of course we're just going to add all these together, so keeping them in columns. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. Then we go to the next column, our tens column. 0 plus 0 is nothing, plus 3 plus 1, well that's 4. And our final column here, 1 plus 2, well that's 3. So the answer should be 345. So I'm going to show you how to do the algorithm in the next video.